So with the big new update coming later this week of 2.1 to Cyberpunk 2077, we are getting many, many new features in this game. Now a few more details have dropped since the red stream, details on hanging out with romantic partners and such more, and today guys we get into it all. How's it going people, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, I apologise about the way I sound, I have got a cold and it's kicking my ass. Okay, so with the 2.1 comes many new additions and quality of life changes to Cyberpunk 2077. The update itself arrives on the 5th, which is this Tuesday, and along with it comes great new things for players to experience. Okay, so they have confirmed we will get new romantic hangouts with this update. What this means is there will be new interactions with the four romantic partners in Cyberpunk. These four are Panam, Judy, Kerry and River. Male V options have Panam and Kerry, female Vs have River and Judy. Now keep in mind, the romance within your playthrough will obviously need to be, have been progressed for you to unlock these. So what are these new interactions? Well, although not exactly confirmed, they have tweeted out the following, and they stated, Hang out with that special someone in one of these apartments. There will be plenty of activities to choose from during your time together. Okay, so going off this tweet, a specific apartment within Night City will be home to these plenty of new activities they speak about. I guess the one specific apartment might be tied directly to the romance you took and probably differ for each, or maybe it's just these mega building apartment for them all. Now, in regards to the activities themselves, they state plenty. If I had to guess here, I'd say these will probably differ for each partner and will probably get more options with Panam and Judy. And some of these interactions may be rehashed interactions or reworked ones we've already experienced. I expect myself there to be options for sex, hugging, talking, reminiscing, lying down together, possibly dancing and probably a few other dialogue options thrown in there too. Now, it would be seriously cool, don't you think, if we were able to drive around Night City with our romantic partners at our side, but what I will say is, uh, this is highly doubtful within this update, but it is a possibility within the future. I mean, the way CDPR are dropping these updates, we may get something like this within a future update. I mean, we can only hope. But yes, there are plenty of new activities we can do with our romantic partners within 2.1, which arrives Tuesday, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to move on and let's talk about the new vehicles added with 2.1. So they have confirmed five new motorcycles to the game. Now these I do believe will be available for the most part on the Auto Fixer website for you to purchase. Now with 2.1 also they have added new physics to motorcycles too. These give you the ability to flip mid-air, pull off wheelies and do many other things like being able to throw throwing knives while riding that bike which is super super cool. I cannot wait to do this myself. They've also added in a brand new Porsche or basically a skin for the previous Porsche basically a cabriolet version of it but it still looks pretty cool now with these new bikes and new car also comes replayable car races if you have progressed claire's questline where you race with her these races will now be available for you to play again via check marks on the map these races also reward you auto fixer discounts and i do think this new porsche may be tied to these races too somehow now sticking with cars, they've also added in new gang chases. What this means is gangs will now act a lot like the police and will actually chase you depending on certain choices you make within certain gigs and missions previously. And I don't mean that said gangs will chase you during these missions that you're taking part in. I'm talking these gangs will seek you out no matter where you are and whatever stage of the game you're at, depending on choices you've made previously. These gangs ain't forgetting the choices you make if it's detrimental to them. So these gangs now remember your presence, which is pretty cool. Another great addition to the game 2.1 is the new radio port. So the radio port is a new feature which allows you to listen to the radio outside of cars. This means you can go about your daily business on foot and listen to your favourite songs, which is really, really cool. You can also take that radio port on the brand new Metro system, which is also being added into the game. 
yes, that Metro system we always knew was hiding there somewhere. Well, within 2.1, a fully functioning Metro system is there for you to ride. A full system with different lines, a full system with different paths you can take. And I mean, although it isn't really necessary due to the fast travel system we have, it just makes Night City, in my opinion, more immersive and true to itself and the world we all love within. Now the metro is called the NCART, this stands for Night City Area Rapid Transit, which is pretty cool too, so look out for these guys within 2.1. Now another thing they mentioned were changes to bosses within the game. The only one they really spoke about was Adam Smasher but they said tweaks have been made elsewhere and they're leaving it for players to find. Now in regards to Adam Smasher, they've made him more difficult uh, in regards to his boss fight but they've also added in visual effects to match his portrayal in the anime which is pretty cool. They've basically given him that Sandy which we always knew he had but now you can actually see it working which which is badass in my opinion. So the visuals you're seeing on screen now guys, this boss fight should be completely different from when you fought him previously, which is good. I can't not wait to go back and experience him because for me, when I did him, when I fought him, he was pretty easy. And as they state, they've seen many of these one shot builds, one hit builds that have been tested out on Adam Smasher. Uh, I think they kind of tried to combat this and it's gonna be very, very exciting to see what players come up with 2.1 onwards. So that's cool. Now one thing I do want to state before we end the video, I feel a lot of these changes have come and have been put in place due to CDPR being heavily influenced by the modding community and what they have achieved with their own game. I know some people look down upon modders and what they do with games but I feel you cannot deny that with Cyberpunk 2077 since CDPR welcomed them with open arms and gave them tools to play around with, the things they have done in my opinion have for sure given CDPR the incentive to realise what players want from this world and if they do continue to deliver with the same incentive and basically being heavily influenced by these modders in regards to what players want if they continue adding in such changes and features i mean looking at game of the year 2023 i'm not surprised that phantom liberty and cyberpunk is so high within that list i mean it just it's absolutely no surprise to me whatsoever the way cdpr have gone about their business with cyberpunk and long may it continue okay so finally guys and away from 2.1 cdpr have confirmed that if you miss the nus infiltrator drops you now have another chance in getting them via watching your favorite stream between the 5th of december all the way up to the 19th so do not miss out this time and there we have it guys more details on 2.1 guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe i will be heavily covering 2.1 and the changes that come with it so stay tuned for further videos and hopefully guys i will see you then.